for our last video, we're going to take a brief look at product fulfillment. Once you've got that information product created, whether it's a PDF or it's an audio clip or it's a video, you got to sell it, right? And you got to sell it and deliver it uh, to the client. So that's what we're going to talk about is how you go about delivering it. Uh, we're going to discuss doing the process yourself. And this is, you know, not only information products that are downloaded, but also if you actually f make a report or f put it on a CD or something like that. And then I'm going to show you some fulfillment companies that will take care of doing all of that for you. We'll look at CD download and membership options. These are different ways that you can get the content delivered. I've got some resources for you and, of course, some action steps. Now, I'm sure that you're aware that something like this, you know, this is not something that we can fully investigate in 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, but what I do want to do is give you kind of an overview of the process. And, of course, you're going to have to look into some things uh, on your own to actually get it done. But this will at least get you, you know, pointed in the right direction. Delivering your content, you're going to basically do it two different ways. Either it's downloaded or it's a physical product. So an information product can be something that, you know, is, is something physical, something, a report that is actually printed. Or a, a book, really, is an information product. A CD, an audio CD that people listen to. A DVD that's got video on it. That's all information products, but the key here is that whatever the product is, that it is also deliverable via download. So it's a digitally deliverable product. And I want to talk just for a minute about the pros and cons of both of these. With a downloadable product, obviously there is no physical cost. Uh, all you have to do is you put the product on your server, people are going to buy it and they can download it. There's not really any cost involved in that. So that's good. At the same time though, people tend to attribute lower value to these kinds of products. And I really don't know why because, um, I mean, there is a lot of junky, you know, 15 page ebooks out there that people are trying to sell. But for the most part, they're just as good as the physical version. It's just that you get it instantly. So that's another benefit also is that you can, you know, the customer gets to download the product instantly. With a physical product, there's a delay of delivery, okay? But they do perceive that with a much higher value than a downloadable product. For whatever reason, believe it or not, people will prefer a physical product and you can charge more than the same product delivered digitally. So for example, let's say that you had uh, an audio file that gave training on, you know, uh, on horse training or how to take care of a horse or something like that. You might be able to sell it digitally for $35 where they can download 